righty, welcome back to Talk of Alabama. You know, this is really one of the most common New Year's resolutions after a season of eating, oh gosh, way too many things. Cookies, cakes, pies, you name it. You know, all those holiday parties, it all adds up. And it's only natural that we, we vow, we say, you know, we're gonna lose some weight. And of course, that would require getting fit at the same time. Joining us is fitness instructor Shane Rodriguez, and he is going to whip me into shape in this short little segment to show you what you can do to get fit, right? All right, yes we are. We're gonna do a two minute workout. Oh my goodness, okay. Okay. We're ready for this. <laughs> now the purpose of this workout is is what exactly? I know we're gonna lose weight, but it's called what? Well CrossFit is the name of the, the actual type of workout. Okay. And CrossFit is uh, workouts that are functional, that you do everyday things that's gonna help you get in better shape. Um, they're constantly, constantly varied, meaning they're gonna be different all the time, but they're quick and intense so you get in and out usually 20 25 minutes okay so let's get started here okay. what are we doing all right we're gonna get, we're actually gonna time ourselves we're gonna do a two-minute workout oh, Lord. it's gonna be three I mean four different exercises of 30 seconds each okay I'm ready. so I'm gonna start this clock we're gonna do a box jump to start with and we're I'm gonna go. do the three, basic version. two one go all right you're supposed to jump up all right hip extension you're gonna do as many reps as possible good Hard job to do with heels. very good all right, so each workout, as you see, you're going to be in a race. Or, whoa. Careful. <laughs> watch yourself. <laughs> I'm trying to watch the clock. All right, 10 more seconds. Okay, one, <laughs> two. All right, this is how it works three, too when you get tired, too. Two. Oh, All right, no, now we're going to pick up the kettlebell. Okay. And going to do what's called a sumo deadlift high pull. Sumo deadlift. All right, do as many as you can in 30 seconds. Keep going. Don't stop. And I would recommend wearing something a little more comfortable than what yeah. Maggie's wearing. My legs are burning! <laughs> okay, I gotta stop. Alright, come on, 10 more seconds. Okay. You can do it. Push me! <laughs> Alright, three seconds. Oh, Alright, now we're gonna switch over to this ball slam. Alright, you got a 14 pound ball. <laughs> I got a 20 pound ball. I'm it. Come on. Okay. Come on, you can do it. Okay. Keep it up. Oh. All right, 10 more seconds. Come on, Maggie. I'm doing it. Few more. <clears throat> All right, now put that behind you. We're going to do some squats. Come on. Squat down. Here you go. Come on, we were talking about getting down to okay. your ideal. <laughs> 10 seconds. Just 10 seconds. All right, three, two, one. Woo. Don't do anything. Woo. I'm in. Yeah, I'm sweating. All right. So when somebody's at home, they do this, how many times? Probably five rounds. 10 rounds maybe if you're really in good shape. How much time shape. in between each one? The rest a minute. Woo! But you can see. You can work your way <laughs> to that. Woo! Let me catch my breath. <laughs> There's more talk of Alabama to come. We'll be right back. And welcome back to Talk of Alabama. Okay, so we're outside right now, outside of the studios, because we want to talk about a really important event that's coming up here in the Magic City, and it's to raise awareness because millions of women and children go without proper water and, you know, drinkable water every single day. And I've got Spencer Sutton with me today, and you are with the group Never Thirst. That's correct. Thank you so much for joining us. Yep. Thanks for having us. Okay, so tell us about Never Thirst. What do you guys do exactly? Okay, Never Thirst, we, we partner with local churches okay. in Africa and Asia to provide communities with access to clean water. Okay. So right now, today, there's about a billion people on the planet that don't have access to the same kind of water that you and I drink. That's incredible. Yeah. That's incredible. And many people die every year because of this, That's correct? right. That's right. Uh, actually, about almost 4 million people will die every, every year. And to break that down, kids, little children, 5 years and under, about 4,000 every single day die from simple 
preventable, preventable waterborne diseases. Okay, so you guys have an event that's coming mm -hmm. up, which will allow somebody to essentially walk in the shoes mm -hmm. of, you know, a woman or a child that has to go searching for water, right? right? Tell that's us right. about that. So what we've done is we've created this water walk. Yeah. And we want to give people the experience to grab a jerry can that's filled with dirty water. Okay, and here's the thing. These cans are 40 pounds. That's five gallons of water. Five gallons, 40 pounds. 40 pounds each. And actually, I'm going to do this. So while you explain, I'm going to do this. So we, we created this water walk so people could get a sense of what it's like oh. to walk in Africa. And the, the amazing thing is, is that women and children every single day will walk for miles to collect dirty water. So it's really difficult in heels, but most of the time they're barefooted. But this is insane. It's, it's incredibly heavy wow. and, and difficult. And because of this, these women bring this water back to their families. It's dirty. Children get sick. They get diarrhea. And they have no way of taking care of themselves. And, and so most of the kids die from dehydration. Wow. So what can people do? What can they do? We want people to come to the event, which is next Thursday, Octo okay. October 13th. Okay. It's at 6 p.m. at Ted's Grove in Birmingham and we want them to come buy a ticket at the door or you can go online at neverthirstwater.org and buy a ticket. Come and walk this water walk yeah. because we have businesses and individuals who have sponsored that say, listen, anytime somebody walks this, we'll give a certain amount of money. Okay. So we, our goal is to have 500 people come and walk. And you have an ambitious goal with the, what you're trying to raise. Mm -hmm. How much money are you trying to We're raise? We're trying to raise $100,000 at this event okay. and that will approximately, when we, when we break $100,000 down, it will serve uh, around 10,000 people, bring 10,000 people access to clean water through their local church. Yeah, and you know what? People don't seem to realize how important clean drinking yeah. water is That's and right. the ability to go and get it That's right. easily, quickly, and efficiently. Mm -hmm. With I mean, th this was really it's very hard. Very hard. Yeah. It was very hard. So I cannot mm -hmm. imagine women walking to go get mm -hmm. water and they also have their children on them, children, strapped right. on, just trying to get yeah. some drinking water that That's isn't right. even clean. Yeah, every single day, these women and children, they wake up. This is their first concern. Yeah. I mean, they have to drink. They have to use it to cook and to, you know, to clean all sorts of things. All right. So tell us again. The event is next Thursday. Next Thursday at Ted's Garage. Okay. And we want you to come down, buy a ticket at the door, or go online at neverthirstwater.org. All right. So have a good time. And, you know, you're going to raise awareness and actually raise some money That's for right. a really and, good and cause. We, we will have David Platt, as our pastor, speaking there, and comedian Henry Cho. Okay. So thank, it'll be a great night. It will be a great night. Thank okay. you so very much. Thanks. And you know what? There's more of Talk of Alabama to come. We will be right back.